Tubers, this is Larry Marco with Marco Custom Fab. I'm coming to you to it today with my uh, 67 Chevelle two-door hardtop. Today we're going to gut the interior like I promised. We're going to get the seats out, carpet out, and I'm uh, going to go through that process and find out how bad this floor is, if there's one in there or not. And uh, also go through reasons why, because I'm not getting to this car maybe right away, why I want to do this process so that it can at least prolong it from getting worse. And just open up the door, you can see it's uh, quite nasty in there. Some rodents, animals got in and chewed up all the foam in the seats, but we can get all those covers and stuff like that year one and that makes it so. Uh, we'll get to that and we'll get this out and we'll follow along in the process. So as you can see the interior in this car is uh, pretty bad. The carpet's just, it, we're just going to throw that out. You can buy that uh, in reproduction. And the quality of the stuff in reproduction now isn't so bad, so uh, there's some good companies out there that make some nice stuff. The seat covers will have to be replaced. Obviously, they're really bad. You can see the animals got in and, and just uh, got into everything, and it smells pretty bad in this car. So, big thing, we want to pull it all apart so we can uh, air it out, get it all clean and dry and, uh, and work on it. So we're going to pull the seat out. There's a couple of bolts at the back here. You see, I actually got the one seat belt out here already. There's uh, one bolt on the front on each side and this bench will pop right out of here and then so I'll get this out I'll get the seats out and we'll come back and show you the next step As you can see the floor on this side is uh, Pretty damp, you know underneath this rubber mat. It's been sitting with uh, some moisture and it's just a lot of uh, Rot in the carpet, so we want to get this carpet off the metal so that it can stay dry if that stays wet you know for another few years that could really just rot out what's there and uh, even though the car may get a whole floor pan or a partial floor pan we just don't want to we just want to keep it dry inside so that's why we want to pull all of this uh, product that'll hold moisture down uh, against the metal so that's what we're going to do okay so the bench seats out as you can see it's uh, pretty rough but you know we can buy all new covers for this a company like year one they make all new seat covers and uh, some foam so what we'll do is we'll just probably end up getting a lot of the stuff off of the seat just to keep it dry and we'll see what the metal work is like underneath but we can do that another day i just wanted to uh, show you what it's like with it out and go to the car here it's a two-piece carpet so it's split down the middle i'll show you how to get this back seat out actually now, if you ever never pulled a back seat out of a car like this how they work, there's sort of a clip on the bottom, it's spring-loaded, and you just push back. It comes on the clip, like that. And then they'll come up like this, you get both sides. And that bottom will come right out like that. That's how I show you, if you've never pulled one of these out, that's how they come out of here. And there's a couple of bolts, and then this back will come out. So we'll get this out, and I'll come back. So there's the two bolts underneath this back seat you have to pull out. Take those out and the back will come out and then you can take the seat belts and stuff out. You can see how how much stuff is on the floor of this from rodents and that, but uh, thankfully there's a lot of reproduction. You can buy every part for this car, so this uh, isn't too bad. I just, uh, we're just gonna clean it out. See, that's <laughs> even a spark plug underneath the seat. I wonder how that got there. So yeah, we got the carpet out of this car now. Uh, I'm just pulling out the headliner first before we sweep out and vacuum the floor. I want to show you what happens if you got animals getting in the car on a headliner. Um, they just make nests above it. So even though the headliner might look okay in a vehicle, uh, you could have all of this mouse turd up here. So you just want to clean it all out. We want to like clean the car inside thoroughly with soap, water, pressure washer. Just just clean this thing right out when it's done. So. We'll just keep getting to it and I'll show you when we get back here. Okay, now that I washed out the floor and kind of soaked it up, cleaned it up, just rinsed it, you can see what's really here. So the, it's not too bad. There's some rust uh, along like in the corner of the sill there. And um, the worst of it is right over in this brace on the uh, driver's side. I haven't poked around underneath yet, but just to show you. So, took out some of the things. There was a radio in here and a couple of speakers you saw. I took those out. This concludes another episode. Just wanted to get the carpet out of here, clean up the interior. Uh, the seats, I'm going to take the seat covers off and 
down to the springs and uh, look at getting some new seat covers. My buddy uh, has a water blasting company or knows somebody has a water, water blasting company. They're going to do them all up, uh, the, the frames, paint them. So I'll show you that when I get those back. And the next thing we'll do to this car is get this uh, engine unseized. And if I can't get it unseized, then look at maybe just putting another engine in to get it, to get it mobile. So like I said, this isn't a car that I'm getting to right now. I want to get my Pontiac done first, but I just wanted to uh, show you. Uh, I just wanted to see, one, how bad the floor was, better than I expected. Two want to keep it from getting worse from storage so that's what I just wanted to show you there and so if you like please subscribe and have an awesome day